What's up? It's Little Guy 5 here. And today I have another cool review for you guys. And today, this is going to be on the 2017 animated symbol clanging monkey. Uh, this was sold at Walmart back in 2017 for around $69. And as you see here, I do have part of the box. I don't have all of it. This is what it came with. I'm guessing just by looking at this side that the rest of the box got water damage. But it's better to have some than none of the box or at least that has something i bought this on marketplace for 35 dollars which was very nice and had it shipped to me and uh this design is actually pretty rare nowadays i don't really see it on ebay i haven't i saw the prototype last summer and other than that i haven't seen this one at all so i'd say this one is pretty rare nowadays and definitely forgotten about although in my eyes i think this is a very cool design and it should have more appreciation on it because these are based at, after those from the 60s. Those uh, symbol monkeys just like the one in Toy Story 3. In the uh, daycare center in Sunnyside. And uh, basically what these did was. They'd open their eyes. They'd scream and they'd open their mouth and clang their symbols. This is what that does. It is almost identical to the prototype. Except the prototype had a sound box which was just carnival music obnoxious carnival music so i'm a little happy it doesn't have a sound box uh the fan on this is the yf80 and both animations do work and there is no thinning on this as far as i can see and it does inflate relatively tight with metallic accents and this does have the stake and tether pack i don't think this was ever used because according to the seller her husband did not really like this much and that's why she was getting rid of it so i don't think this was ever used much to the point at least where they didn't have to open the state pack they didn't use it a bunch and the arms do take a second to get up though but once they're up they do get up we'll give that a second here for them to start inflating they do take a second and now they are starting to form and they are just about good. And here he is. He's a really nice size. I like him a lot for sure. It's pretty cool. I like him. He's a very nice medium size, I would say, of inflatable for sure. Definitely really cool. It's something different, definitely. I like it a lot. This is a really rare design. Uh, I don't really hear people talk about this one, and I think they should. Uh, there's been a couple of videos over the years. Actually, I do have the Steak and Tether pack right here. With the classic Steak and Tethers. But there he is as a whole. Clapping his symbols, being a happy monkey. He has that hugging animation. Except, from what I've seen, at least on the newer models, hugging animation isn't that great. Uh, we had two last year that had it on both of the Coco scenes from Big Lots and Home Depot. And I was planning on buying both or at least one of them, but that never happened because they both ended up being a little bit overpriced. And when the arms were in this down position here, right there, the Coco, this one sags a little bit, I can see. But the Coco ones, I guess because the mugs were bigger and not as skinny as the symbols, like to sag a lot. And obviously that caused concern of what it looked like and it didn't look great. Uh, this one doesn't sag too much because the symbols are skinnier than those mugs. So it's not dragging it down with it. But we we'll go over all the detail here and where the tethers are. we we'll start by the feet. He has these nice bright red boots. His legs do go out like that. And he has a lot of metallic all over him on his boots. His arms. His symbols obviously. said very smooth and soft like i said i'm very concerned that they never use this at all and very tight for an 80 it's very nice and then you see we get to his chest area a lot more gold accents symbols in his hand which are again a nice metallic which i think this was one of the first years they started using metallic was 2017 i might be wrong on that though 
But uh, the only difference is from those Charlie chimps I was talking about, this is a skeleton monkey. And he's missing a couple teeth, but he still looks pretty happy. I like him. He's pretty scary. And then you move up to the face region, then he is a skeleton. And up to his fez hat, he has a nice golden metallic skull on there, which I really do like that skull. And his fez hanging part, which is also metallic gold, including the streamers, which this part inflates definitely the weakest, but this thing is very nice, I would say. There's not a crazy much to say about it. It's just that it's a nice newer inflatable, a good size, and definitely good reference material of what the retailers are still capable of picking. But uh, on the back of it, he does have a tail. He has a nice little monkey tail, which they didn't need to put, but it's good that they did. But uh, we'll come to the back area, because there actually is some interesting stuff here. This is the back part to let out the air for the, uh, the animation to work. Which there actually is. You can't really look in there, but there's a big spring back there. I don't really know what for, but there is a big spring. And a uh, very soft soft and good looking fabric on this side there is two zippers on this there is one giant zipper right here from the bottom of his butt all the way up to there which is nice the uh, easy access to change bulbs which i might do that there might be a couple out and there's also a zipper under the fan there is two attachment points as usual respectively on each side one under his arm there and one under his arm on his left side I believe there is 5C7s in here, the regular amount on medium-sized inflatables. There's nothing in his arms. I really don't know how this is going to light up good outside. It might, from my room when I inflated it, it looked like it lit up good. At least his body, I don't know how well his legs and his arms will light up. Sorry about that. Uh, I got this a couple days ago, though. I was supposed to review it then, but I did end up getting sick, and I, that's why I kind of sound weird. I, I'm still a little I'm getting better, but at least I can get out of bed before I I felt like shit. I couldn't even get out of bed. <laughs> but, <coughs> sorry about that. But, yeah, here is your 2017 Symbol Monkey. It's only made for one year for Walmart in-store and online, from my knowledge. I did thought he was a little bit old, think he was a little bit older than that. I thought he was 2014. And uh, one of my buddies in my, uh, in uh, one of the groups that I'm in told me, well, he's 2014, I mean, he's 2017. I thought he was older than that. He looks kind of classic, like classic design, kind of spooky looking. Uh, I wouldn't really see them make something like this today but then again uh, these past couple of days have been very surprising with them releasing an image of a giant ass pirate ship and a which i can't believe i'm saying a snow globe coming back in 2024 which instantly will put all of the old ones to shame and hopefully to the grave because i've been wanting a snow globe for a while but all the older ones are made like shit and they're not made to last so i've never bought one and they're too overpriced for fabric and a fan so maybe they will make something like this again. They've, they've come with surprises, the stores. But I do like it. If you can find it, which it will be a little tricky if you want to find it. I like obscure ones like this. Especially if you want to do a carnival scene, it'd be great. I like obscure ones like this. So I know certain people like the basic ghost or a witch or pumpkins or something like that if you've noticed i buy all of the weird stuff because i like the weird interesting stuff like carriages reapers headless horsemen like, i buy the weird stuff singing stuff and this is just another one to add to the weirdness and the creativity in my eyes it's really cool i'll give you an above panel view and we will cut to the end of this video guys i hope you enjoyed on the review of the 2017 animated symbol monkey i'll uh, see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace